In this lesson, we're going to learn how to break numbers down in a division problem using partial products to make them easier to divide and to find an exact answer. We're going to use a two-digit divisor of 73 and a dividend is going to be 6,435. Now to make division easier for me, I always like to first make my numbers simpler or easier. I'm going to set up a couple columns here. This first column is what I like to call my true column. where I use my actual numbers, not estimated numbers, and I write true statements. This column here is where I, what I like to call my close column. It's where I take simple problems and estimated numbers to help me break down my dividend and to help me get closer to my answer. So let's first look at our divisor of 73. I want to round my divisor. Normally we would round down if we see that we have a 3 in the 1's place, but I always like to round my divisor up to its largest place value. Now its largest place value is in the 10's place, that's a 7. So I want to round that up to 8. I'm going to round my divisor to 80. I'm going to write that number here. Now, our dividend I always just like to take the first two numbers and place, insert placeholders for the rest of the digits. So we have, if we just took our first two digits, 64, and inserted place values after that, my computer will let me do it here, we have 6,400. Now I want to turn this into a multiplication problem. I want to see what can I multiply by 80 to get us close to 6,400 but not over. 80 times what will get me close to 6,400 but not over? Well, let's look at the simple problem. We see 8 times what will equal 64? 8 times 8 equals 64. So 80 times 80 will equal 6,400. So the number we're going to use here is 80. 80 times 80 equals 6,400. Now, I'm going to bring that back here. And we found the number 80 to help us break down that number. So let's use that number 80 to help us break down our true problem here. Now remember, when we answered we got this 80 from our 73. We got our 6,400 from our 6,435 as our dividend. Now the 80 that we found is what we're actually going to use. So let's make that true. 73 times 80. Well, what is 73 times 80? It's 5,840. You could use longhand math to find that out by using partial products, or if you have a calculator, you could also use a calculator. If you're working out a division problem like this, I would assume that you don't have a calculator handy, so you probably have to use long math to find the answer to that multiplication problem. Then you subtract to find out how much you have left to divide and how much we've broken down that larger dividend by. If you subtract correctly, you find that you have 595 left. Now, we want to multiply our 73 by a number to get us close to 595, but not over. So again, let's take these two numbers and make them easier. Let's turn 73 to 80, put that in a close column. What are we going to multiply that by? 
to get us close to, well, let's, you could use 595 that we have here, but I like to just again take my first two digits. First two digits, and then a zero to hold the last place. It makes the problem look simpler to me, and it makes it easier for me. So 80 times what equals 590, or 8 times what will get me close to 59, but not over. Remember, if you have those zeros, you can knock those off to look at your simple problem. Well, I know that 8 times 7 is 56. So I would say 80 times 7 will get me close to 590, but not over. Now, this isn't a true statement here. This is close, but we're going to use that 7 to help us break down our divisor, or our dividend, rather. So let's bring that back here. Instead of using our 80, we're going to use the real number that we got that from, 73. For our true column, 73 times 7. When you do the multiplication to find the math, 73 times 7 is actually equal to 511. Let's subtract that from our dividend to find out how much we have left to divide. When you subtract, you find you have 84 left to divide. Now, this problem gets a lot simpler now that our numbers are smaller. Still, I want to look at it as a multiplication problem. 73 times what is equal to 84? Now, if you'll notice, I use my 73 here and I use my 84 here. I didn't break them into simpler problems now because it's easier for me now and I don't feel that I have to. I still could if I needed to. And I see that the number that we can multiply 73 by to get as close to 84 but not over is going to be 1. Let's bring that back and make that statement true. 73 times 1 is equal to 73. You subtract to find out how much you have left to divide you will have 11. Now we see that our answer here, 11, is actually smaller than our divisor. So we are done. You can't multiply 73 by a number to get it close to 11 if it's a whole number. So this 11 down here becomes our remainder. But we still don't have our answer yet. So what we need to do is come back to our true column here. And we need to add up all those factors that we multiplied 73 by. First we have 80. I'm going to put my addition symbol here. 80 plus 7 plus 1. And your answer will be 88 with a remainder of 11 for your final answer. Now let's look at everything that we did and break this down into a couple steps. The first step that we did was we made our numbers simple by making 73, 80, always round that up, and then we took our first two place values of 6,435 and turn that into 6,400. The next thing we did is we turned it into a multiplication problem. We said 80 times what equals 6,400 here. Just the same, you could say 73 times what will equal 6,435. Then, We made our problem true, 73 times 80. We made it true. Then came back here with our answer for our last step, and we subtracted. Then we had our answers 595, and we repeated all the same steps over again until we broke our number down step by step until we found that we had our 
dividend so small that we didn't have anything left to divide. That's when we added up all of the numbers we used to divide or multiply and found our answer of 88, remainder of 11. Remember to follow those couple steps. It's all about rounding your numbers and multiplying your divisor to break down that dividend into smaller, easier numbers.